In this practical, we'll be synthesizing soap using a reflux apparatus. What we will be refluxing will be a mixture of cooking oil, potassium hydroxide in a solution of ethanol and water. And when we're doing the reflux, we'll be using anti-bumping granules to control the boiling. Once the soap panification is complete, we will then distill off the ethanol, leaving the soap behind, which we'll precipitate out with a brine solution, which we'll make from sodium chloride mixed with water to make a brine solution. This will precipitate the soap out of solution, which we will then filter using Buckner filtration. I will start the procedure by placing the chemicals into the pear-shaped flask. First of all, we add in a few granules of anti-bumpy granules, followed by our potassium hydroxide, which I've previously weighed out, two and a half grams. Next, I'm going to add 20 milliliters of ethanol. I'm also going to add a few milliliters of deionized water to ensure that the reaction vessel doesn't dry out when I'm doing the distillation and the second part of the procedure. And finally, I'm going to add two and a half milliliters of the oil, which we're going to saponify. Now I'm going to heat the reaction. I'm going to use a water bath to heat the solution because I'm using a volatile solvent, the ethanol. Before I start the reaction, I'm going to put my condenser at the top and the water will be going in the bottom of the condenser out of the top. Then I will lower this into the water bath and then heat the solution for 20 minutes. Now that our water is boiling and the reaction has come up to temperature, we can see that the ethanol is boiling. So our ethanol vapors are leaving the pear-shaped flask, rising up, hitting off the cold wall of the condenser and falling back down into solution. We see the droplets of ethanol falling back into the reaction mixture here. So the ethanol is being recycled as the reflux continues. Now that the reflux continues for 20 minutes, I'm going to turn the reflux apparatus into a distillation apparatus. The glassware is quite hot, so I'm going to use a cloth when I'm holding the hot glassware. Open here. Put my still head and my thermometer, making sure the bead of the thermometer is at the neck of the still head. And then put the condenser on the dropping arm. Clip the apparatus together. The clamp to ensure the condenser is secure. So here we can see the ethanol is now coming up from our pear-shaped flask up to our still head and coming across through our condenser and dropping into the conical flask. I can see by the thermometer the temperature is 78 degrees and this is ethanol that's coming off. Once all the ethanol has been distilled off, all that's left remaining in the reaction vessel is the soap and the side products of the reaction. Now nearly all the ethanol has been removed and I can see the temperature is starting to rise. So I'm going to remove the pear shaped flask and the heat. I'm now going to disassemble the apparatus. So move the retort stand. And the still head. I'm now going to, to precipitate the soap. So I'm going to add the reaction mixture into this brine solution. The soap will float on top of the solution, whereas the unwanted side products will dissolve into the solution. I'm going to pour the solution in. We can see the soap precipitating into the solution. And on top of the solution, you can see a thin film of the soap. So here you can see the Buckner apparatus I've already set up. So 
So I'm going to wet a piece of filter paper with the ionized water. Then turn on the pump. And gently pour the reaction mixture. See the unwanted products are dissolved in water, which will be drawn through the filter paper, and the soap will be caught in the filter paper. And now we move our soap, the funnel, to the top of the buffer flask. And here we can see our soap have been caught in the filter paper, and here we can see our soap product.